Hello, YouTubers. Well, um, I've actually been uh, dealing with speakers and cabinets and things. So I thought I'd share this with you. Um, okay. First off, um, the Celestian 7080 speaker, right? Uh, fairly inexpensive speaker. It's under a hundred dollars new. I think it's like 79 bucks or something like that. Um, and you'll find this speaker and everything from a Marshall DSL 40 um, and all other kinds of speakers and cabinets and so on and unfortunately online especially right um, you know if you look up the Celestian 7080 speaker and get opinions on it and that kind of thing um, because it's Celestian's cheapest speaker, right? Or at least I think I read that. It's gotten a super bad reputation as oh, you got you got to change that out, you know, um, for you know some other speaker. And while there may be a benefit to changing out speakers as an additional cost, of course. And you may be getting rid of something that's pretty decent. Um, now, I, I've swapped out speakers before, but there was an intended purpose for it, you know. A lot of people just change out the speaker because it's a Celestian 7080, and they heard that they weren't very good. Um, well, I'd really like to clear up the air on that. Um, I mean, I recently uh, listened to a Celestian 7080 speaker and then a vintage uh, Classic 30, right? And I'll be darned if the Classic 30 was brighter but thinner sounding. Now, I'm talking about clean sounds here, okay? And that would be something that uh, a vintage, you know, Classic 30 or whatever... Uh, might be something you'd want because you want that real abrasive um, you know distorted tones and I found for that it's probably better but for a clean sound okay um, the Celestian 7080 is actually a really good speaker I'm quite surprised um, now I believe that cabinet affects the sound, of course. You know, if you're going to put this 7080 in a speaker cabinet. Or, for example, I have a Blackstar HT Club 40s, and they come stock with a Celestian 7080 speaker. But it's a closed back cabinet, and they it sound great. You know, just no issues with it at all. You know, now, keep in mind, I'm talking about clean sounds, right? I don't even use the distorted sounds, you know, very rarely. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the Celestian 7080 speaker and the clean sounds it can produce. You know, um... I, I just think that a lot of people are changing out that speaker because of it. it's heard, they've heard that the Celestian 7080 is not a good speaker, you know. Um, and I, I think that's simply not correct. It's wrong. For clean sounds, you know. And I'll tell you what, it's really hard online to find reviews of a speaker on clean. You know, right away they go for that you know, metal 
stuff. Which is fine if that's what you're into. And, and then the 7080, compared to the Vintage 30, which is much brighter, thinner, sounding to my ears anyway, but sounds better um, distorted-wise. But for clean, I'm sorry, no. Uh, the 7080 has a very nice, clear sound. Um, it's warm, and I, I've tried a, a, a greenback sustain, and I do find it's clear, you know, um, but maybe not as pleasing to the ear, quite frankly. Uh, it's just not maybe quite as warm in a way. I mean, these are my experiences, you know. I could be totally off base. Um, you know, and I mean, I, I remember I picked up a pair of Celestian 7080 speakers, uh, and they were about brand new, and they were about 25 bucks each used, you know. And I'm sure they were switched out partly based on reputation. I'm guessing. Any case. On top of that, and I've been going back and forth, back and forth, testing this stuff. I have a Celestian 7080 speaker. Right? A 1x12. Okay? In a pine, birch pine cabinet. Right? Highly desirable. Right? Birch pine means it's well constructed. And then I have a Marshall vertical 2x12 cabinet made of MDF. Right? Which is not very desirable construction wise, you know. MDF is a cheaper material. And in there, I've got two, because it's a 2x12, Celestian 7080 speakers. So I was very curious to compare the two, you know. Um, and in theory, the Marshall, right, should be twice as loud, right, because it's got two speakers and those kinds of things. They're both running at 8 ohms. Okay. Um, the Marshall has two 16 ohm uh, 7080 speakers, right? And so it comes out to a total of 8 ohms the way it's wired. And then the Pine cabinet is just an 8 ohm 7080 speaker. Now, uh, I've been going through this all day, and, um, well, let's take a listen. Okay, so let's take a look at these two cabinets. First, in this corner, we've got the Seismic Audio closed back 1x12 with one Celestian 7080 speaker. Here it is. Okay, and over here, we have the Marshall MX-212A vertical MDF cabinet with two Celestian 7080 speakers. Okay, and it's closed back as well. Okay, now, uh, I have a looper hooked up, so... I don't know what I, I was playing just to test things. Uh, played something. I don't even remember what it is, but I'm going to turn it on just so we have an audio signal so that we can compare the two. Oh, and I should mention both cabinets are running at 8 ohms because the Marshall has two 16 ohm cabinets, but because of the way it's wired, it's 8 ohm. And the Seismic Audio. Um, birch pine construction is um, 8 ohm as well. Alright. Oh, and I forgot to mention 
Uh, just to get a stereo sound, I have a, a little Fender X2 on the other channel. Uh, it's on, but at real low, and it's just running through the little 10-inch speaker, which I think is a Weber. Nice speaker, by the way. Um, so we'll keep that on the whole time, but just to get a stereo kind of effect. Um, and I mean, it's got, I've got uh, an H9 effect pedal and those kinds of things. Um, all right, so let's let's run that loop and let's hear first through the seismic audio one by twelve, right? Birch pine construction, pretty inexpensive cabinet, really. I mean, it's quite a bargain actually. Um, and uh, just running one Celestian seventy eighty. Let's hear it. Okay, to my ears, there's just nothing wrong with that sound. I really like it. You know, it's pretty full sounding, real clean, real nice. Um, really good bass response for 1x12 especially. Um, and I'd say the Seismic Audio is kind of a, a oversized 1x12. You know, it's not a small 1x12 cabinet by any means. It's, it's a lot bigger than I ever imagined. Okay, let's try it now again with the Marshall. So the Marshall cabinet has a really nice, um, big sound as well, you know, um, pretty nice as well. And what I'll do is during the editing, since I talked in between both, um, you know, I'll put them side by side, running that same loop, and then you can really tell the difference, and I'd like to know too.
one other thing I will say that the Marshall vertical 2x12 cabinet has two handles on the side now I don't know how sturdy they are but it sure makes it convenient to move around and, and it's just not very heavy you know, in fact I was quite surprised so pretty darn convenient um, and the seismic audio is nice you know it's not all that heavy either you know um, just not quite as convenient okay so come to the conclusion that basically um, the pine cabinet is more resonant okay definitely more resonant however I found that the Marshall cabinet with a 2x12 um, has a very pleasing sound even though it's MDF right construction um, I also found uh, that the the Marshall is kind of a uh, almost smoother sound a little bit right compared to the single 1 by 12 um, it, it's really quite interesting I mean I like both quite frankly you know um, and I'm having a really hard time saying well which one is better well I don't know I suppose that the Marshall right can handle more wattage because it's got two speakers than the single 12 you know but I mean here it really doesn't matter because I'm running little 15 watt amps little tube amps so that's not a real problem you know um, and, and it's really hard to tell which, which is better I, I, I don't know quite frankly I think they both sound great you know um, very interesting though definitely different sounds you know not just the fact that it's a 1 by 12 versus a 2 by 12 you know but the cabinet as well makes a big difference and let's not uh, forget price right obviously um, the Marshall costs about twice as much as the no name it's actually a seismic audio cabinet 1 by 12 right because they're only paying for one speaker and one you know single 12 cabinet the Marshall you're paying for two speakers right and a 2 by 12 bigger cabinet you know though I have to say the seismic audio is pretty pretty big you know for 1 by 12 um, I don't know I've been going back and forth all day and I like both you know I wish I could point out that oh well this one sound you know and, and that's not the case at all in fact um, I would think that the 1 by 12 is a little um, a little bolder if you like surprisingly um, not a, as as smooth as, as the Marshall with the 2 by 12 which is very interesting and, and I wouldn't have expected that anyway um, you know I guess if people are looking at things are thinking well what do you think of the Celestian 7080 I personally think it's a great speaker for clean sounds uh, it'll, yeah okay it'll do you know distorted sound no problem 
Okay, but I mean, if that's really what you're into, right, then perhaps a, a, a speaker change would be worthwhile, you know. Um, and I'm quite surprised because I have also a, a VHT um, Alnico speaker. It's a little single 1x12 cabinet. And while it has some nice bass characters, Compared to the Seismic Audio 7080 cabinet, um, it sounds kind of small. Who would have guessed that? And the sound quality is very good. You know, um... But, I, yeah, I was quite taken aback. It wasn't... It wasn't quite as a big sound, you know, as the Seismic Audio one. And, um... I also think that the Marshall, having the 212s, um, is quite loud volume-wise. Um, but, however, the Seismic Audio, the 112, was almost as loud. Now, is that the cabinet, the pine cabinet of the 1x12, compared to the MDF of the 2x12? Perhaps. You know, I, I was quite surprised, though. You know, I would assume that it would have been, you know, twice as loud, the Marshall, with the 2x12 cabinet, but that wasn't the case at all. Anyway, on this one, I can't really uh, make too much of a decision. I guess, you, could, you know, what you hear... Um, you, know, you can make up your own mind, I guess. <laughs> you know. Um, so I'm really in a quandary here. Um, well, maybe I'll just keep both. How about that? Maybe. You know. Um, and I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I'm, you know, I'd like to try out some other speakers in, in the cabinets and just see... You know, if it makes a big difference or not. Um, but I'm, I'm really quite happy with the Celestian 7080, you know. Um, you know in, in a way, I think um, I might try a, um, a Cannabis Rex speaker, you know, in the future. Um, I, I remember I had one in a little X2, a little 10-inch canvas racks, and it made a huge difference, you know, compared to the stock speaker. But the reason was that the stock speaker would break up if you added any low end, on, you know, to the sound. It was, it couldn't handle it, I guess. You know, and I don't find that that's the case with the 7080. It just, you know, on a clean sound, even at loud volume levels, or at least for me, loud, and not crazy loud, I guess, you know, um, doesn't seem to break up or anything. Okay, very good. Uh, see you next time. Bye.